Hey guys, Crow Angel Gaming here, bringing you another update to the latest mods. I was going to leave it at Fortnite uh, before I brought this one out, so it should have been next week when I did this. But I'm doing it today mostly because of the fact that I wasn't able to get through all the mods last week within the time frame that the PlayStation 4 would allow. So I don't want to set it to like an hour recording time because everything else I record for uh, GTA and everything else. <clears throat> Uh, the sheer amount of stuff I had to do record on that, it would mean that my hard drive is well and truly chock a bot before I have a chance to record anything really. So, without further ado, I give you this week's thing. I will skip through most of these if it's something that I remember covering in a past one. So you'll have to check out the other video for that. But, here we go. Uh, Guild Green Sapling Fix. As a quest, the blessing of nature if you choose. Sapling, the new sapling grows inside the frame of the old tree. This mod removes the old tree. Basically makes it look new. Uh, okay. Uh, TLS, combat realism. Adds a bit more to your, uh, when your enemy's health is low than 50%, a bleeding out effect will occur. Uh, Ryan's test mod, okay, I won't bother with that. TLS, uh, brighter days, darker nights, uh, poison drink crafting, Skadi, winter goddess, ultimate, since I covered that one last time, as well as that one. Uh, equally damaging weapons. No thing on it, so it's just basically a bunch of weapon mods. Uh, the greater realism, overhaul. A uh, huge gameplay overhaul that focuses on realism. It's a hardcore of one mod uh, for the toughest of Skyrim veterans. Uh, basically, it goes on to say that a uh, short overview of things the mod does introduces a new combat system, it creates a new economy system, it makes enemies harder, it changes loot, it changes enemies, it changes the movement speed, it does a lot that I don't have space to write about there. It does not have DLC support. It does not change magic so if it's something that you're looking for uh, for better realism in the game or to make things a little bit harder then there you go staff overhauls rustic weathers and lighter I think it's lighter lightning even lighting not lightning <laughs> just makes it look a little bit darker and more Nordic I feel I think overhaul Armor, uh, Easy Riders Dungeon Pack. This mod adds new dungeons around Skyrim, which are all lore friendly, seamlessly integrated into the world, and fully compatible with uh, uh, Gaia. I've covered before, I've forgotten dungeons. For the sake of stability, however, none of these locations are, are Radiant Quest enabled. Everything has also been hand cleaned and polished with TS5 edit for maximum compatibility. There are five dungeons including uh, in the current version, version 1.3, including uh, Shatstone Mine, Valskaya, uh, Stonehill Refuge, Kalbard's Rest, Steenkrag Springs. Uh, the goal for the mods from the beginning has been to maximize immersion by emulating the style and quality of Bethesda's base game dungeons. With any look, by the time you stumble across these dungeons, you will feel just like another part of Skyrim. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of well, two main screenshots anyway. Amazing Race Tweaks, Dark Elf. Uh, I've seen a couple of these before. Battle Mages, Cells, Spell Swords, Triple with the Gold, Double the Gold, 50% more Gold. Dragon Skull, this is a special uh, hunt quest mod type thing. Just for you to hunt down uh, dragon skulls and troll skulls. Seriously overstocked, I've actually downloaded this one in combination with one of the other mods. Uh, soul gem, mining and crafting. Uh, just to go back to this one, this one does actually work pretty well. Uh, if you find that what when you're going to actually sell things to the uh, shops half the time they don't have enough gold or if you're trying to pick things up off them, <clears throat> if you're not using any of the other mods which I featured in the past, like the Adventurous Chest, which basically has every source of uh, herb in about 500. So it's it's more than enough for you. It's also got 500 of every blacksmithing supply, like leather, leather strips, uh, iron ignots, ebony, etc. 
so uh, if you are using the adventurous chest and uh, then you probably won't need this as much but it does give the merchants more stock it also does give them uh, a lot more money as well so you can use this with the other mod which gives the merchants uh, 10,000 gold uh, better potion recipes more forge grinds and workbenches, more smelters, which basically puts a lot more of them uh, here, there and everywhere because quite a few of the blacksmithing forges that you'll come across don't have any smelters. Uh, player home keys, smithing supply chests, no more dead followers, no more dead merchants, this is another one I've, I've uh, down downloaded, so now merchants can't be killed no matter what. Uh, the only way you can actually kill them is if you kill them yourself basically. Uh, cheat chests in white run, the most of citizens, I've seen this before. Uh, Chantry of the Knights, Rebirth of the Followers, Snow Elves, Windhelm Wines, Ultimate Horse Travel. Puts in an NPC horse called Epona, uh, who is wicked fast and will get you where you want to go. Uh, she starts her journey, uh, she starts her journey to find you from the Guardian Stones. It will take her time to get to you depending on where you currently are when she runs in it and if she runs in trouble on the way she also runs away from encounters hmm. sprinting while what? sprinting while turning a lot with the horse is inadvisable as this will cause bugs okay work in progress then borderlands of skyrim all oh, right okay this is not what i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be some kind of crossover and again they can't do that because the textures uh, the, the Imperials have opened all border gates of Skyrim. Now explorers can travel to new border areas uh, of the map looking for new mysteries and adventures. Meet five new locations. White Mountains, South East Falkreath, the Pinewood, uh, South East Ris Riften, Forest Fall, South West Riften, Volcanic Islands, North West Dawnstar, Markov Wasteland, South East Markov. Uh, bosses, Giant Barbarian, Queen Witch, King Hawker, Blackbeard Pirate, and Barbarian Foreman. Okay, I'm going to add that to my favourite because that does actually sound pretty good. <clears throat> better Ebony Blade, TOS Better Visuals, uh, Player Voice Emulator. Uh, I did cover this, I think, in a previous one, but uh, I'm going to just feature it again because it is one I've been considering downloading. Unfortunately, it would mean taking off my carry weight ring in order to actually use it but that's easily sorted if you actually disenchant the in incredibly overpowered ring and then put that enchantment onto like a necklace or something like that instead uh, just make sure that your enchanting skill is maxed first or you've got a enchanting ring that would be able to meet the difference kind of thing or just enchant every piece of gear you've got with this uh, enchantments instead basically the ring lets adds a voice to your characters and i'm guessing that it borrows from some of the existing ones uh, as you can see on the screen this is a list of the different type of voices that your character can have i don't know if it will affect the speech when you actually talk kind of like you have in fallout 4 but i'm guessing more in terms of just radiant conversation and grunts and stuff whatever these characters would actually have your character will actually now have instead so there you go uh, we'll do a, a cover of this soon as well but I might start a new character just to see how it works TLS voice emulator oh this is new uh, companion alternative uh, they can be found at the top of the gates of Riverwood coming out from Guardian Stones these will have more dialogue but won't allow up other uh, another companion unless you have the mod that allows a one companion okay crabber craze i've done this one before new forward uh skyrim restored memorial to taylor okay uh ember wolf's axe armor of a dragonborn Better weapon perks, Dreamweaver, I've seen this one before. Emerald Skyrim Nature Overhaul. Adds flowers and trees around Whiterun the Riverrun. Yeah, okay, 
which isn't the kind of thing for friendly tweaks. TOS no wind better no wind better performance. Wind on trees plants extremely unnoticeable unless you're not moving at all. Okay. Serana powered up. Basically she makes her a bit more powerful. Uh R is Metallica. Curious. A uh, simple mod expands on the crafting system of Skyrim. Uh, allows archers to forge their own arrows out of various ore materials, wood, leather strips and feathers. Indirectly make it somewhat useful to chop wood too. Allows thieves to make their own lock picks out of iron and steel. This does mean you'll have to have a member of the you'll have to be a member of the thieves guild. Provide skill, advances for use of smelt and meltdown ore. And uh, you can just pause this video and just go over the because there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, for Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn, he's added all, all the different stuff. So if you're after a bit more immersion, then this would probably help. Law based dis district, the distinct, distinct races. <clears throat> Height of all races changed to reflect the values from Morrowind. Uh, more variation between race heights. NPCs will be changed as well. Uh, basically, I'm guessing this will just make everyone you'd encounter, depending on where they're from, have a bit more of a different look to them uh, in terms of height as well and what they can do as their base talents. a lot of stuff in there. She says, uh, should white work fine on existing characters? Yeah, you may have to load it low in the load order. Uh, the changes will also affect NPCs, may be incompatible with other mods that alter races. Merlin. Undefined, no description. Goodbye. Bears, Haljan Hot Cottage. Uh, Windhelm Supreme, Windhelm Overhaul. Rebirth of the Followers, a newly OP giant. Bailey View Cottage, Eva Hand Weapons, Skyrim Spring Trees, Temple of Time, We've covered this before, Enemies of Skyrim, Loot Overhaul, Slow Rush's Magic Scheme, uh, Journey to Dracos Finale, this is a, a, a multi part uh, quest mod if anyone wants to talk for it. It's by the author Will Hosen. Uh, and if you can actually find it on the thing, there are multiple parts. I think there's about four parts so far. Arvac from Hell. Various Wilds. Cryo Friendly Skyrim. Dragonborn Retreat. Uh, Sun, Unaffected Race. Riverwood Anew. Bears Winstead Cottage. Nemesis, which has been popping up a few times. Saber Cat Respawns. Dragonborn Shout Recast. Better Sleep, TLS, Go Pure, Spell Mod, Forgotten Dungeons, this is the one I was on about earlier that goes well with uh, the one I featured about adding new dungeons to, to the area, Helmetless combat, bam, combat Perks, More Kill Moves and Decapitations, Dragon Cult Contest, uh, more, Many More Spells, Dwemer Automaton Artificing, Artificing. Uh, Burst Springs Manor, Maximum kill move chance, earlier decapitations, uh, again, this author uh, who is Spocrates, he's done quite a lot and if you're after some really good quality mods then uh, have a look at these because they do have a good pack of uh, stuff which covers multiple things. Uh, right, that's the ones out of latest which is showing up. I'm going to quickly go the same for Dracos episode 4 in 2. Uh, down there, another one there for Dracos, and I'll go down just to. Somebody asked me the other day uh, about the various different clothing mods which are on here, and the follower mods. Uh, if you go down the list, you can actually split all the different mods up into different things. Uh, with whatever time. I've got off this video, I'm just going to quickly go through these and give you a quick idea of some of the new followers that are out there. Still no Sophia, unfortunately, but that would allow external assets, which is a shame, because uh, I'm actually in contact with the author, and uh, she's as disappointed that 
uh, Bethesda and uh, Sony can't come to some kind of like arrangement because they have the VS VS Sophia S data already to actually upload, but they can't do it because it involves a huge amount of external assets. Uh, if you don't know who Sophia who the Sophia follower is, uh, just do a quick YouTube search or even Google search for Sophia follower Skyrim and you'll see who I mean. It's a basically a character follower who has more personality than any of the other followers I've ever seen. Uh, she can get drunk uh, voluntarily <laughs> and uh, just has a lot better lines of dialogue. Uh, okay, so most of these mods you've probably seen in previous editions. I don't think there's anything really new, but if there is, I'll stop over it. Uh, some of the War Armies, Hades, uh, Surround Power Up again, Lumis Manila Followers, uh, Lumis Manila Followers Part 2, uh, House Cards Represented Holds, Scardi, Life's Wheel, Nemesis again, Sard, Dragon Priest, Follower House Dragonborn, Vivienne, Pizzakin, Ingrid as Skyrim Companion, Spectral Dragon Followers, Moo, the <laughs> Cow Follower, uh, Lithar Lithriel, the Skyrim Follower, uh, Summon and Frostbite Spider, Moo again, uh, Gitsun, Fox Follower, Spectral Dog, Fox, uh, Gitsun, Fox Follower, Dominions, more Khajiit, Dominions, more High Elves, Capable House Cars, which makes me a little bit better, uh, Dominions, more and more Woods, Version. Uh, that's one of the Dragonborn, uh, not Dragonborn, the uh, Dawn Guards. <clears throat> Morgonians, uh, Steel Hearty One, and he's capable play at home. Okay, Summon Followers, Horse, Follower House, Follower House. Oh, okay. Nothing really. Breton Sorceress Pack, uh, Dagne. Gorgeous Companion, uh, Skyrim Followers, Dogs of War, Dragon Spawn, Dominions More Orcs, Essential Followers, Dominions More Dawn Guard. It's all ass. <laughs> and the OP Giant, Dominions More Potential, uh, Pressurized Follower Mod. Uh, yeah, these are base your basic followers, but just if you're looking for something different other than the ones which are in the base vanilla game. And it just gives you a bit more options. Uh, most of these don't come with screenshots, unfortunately. Uh, Lizette, uh, Breton Bard. Uh, this is the one from the Bard's College, I know, who is uh, quite popular with uh, some people. So if you're looking to uh, recruit her as a permanent companion, that also makes her uh, marriable. Uh, the Alliance Ultimate Armory. Alicia Forward. Again, no pictures why they don't upload pictures to give you some idea beforehand it just does not get me Janessa edit Sigrid, Nordic Song, Mistress, Magic Wolf Pack Tormia uh, Sarah Manson, Follower Wolf Pack Betrayed Vinoff Betrayed again okay. Alva, Vampiric Seductress uh, she's actually the one who you encounter in Morphal during the storyline. Uh, dog followers and huskies. That's my multiple follower system. Uh, be careful if you are actually going after this because it doesn't necessarily work. Uh, it can cause some issues. Ah, that's the English version, sorry. Yeah. Uh, if you are going to download this, then uh, there is a caution with it. Uh, play this mod at your own risk, back up your save before installing the mod. If some issues happen with this mod, disable the mod, go back to your previous backup save. Uh, dismiss all followers before installing or updating this mod. Dismiss all followers before uninstalling the mod. Dismiss, um, dismiss a mod follower before uninstalling the follower mod. Right, so if you are after multiple followers at once, then 
whatever you do, go through this, read all the instructions, make notes so you're not going to think because they will not accept any comeback if your uh, save is completely screwed up or anything. So just be cautious. Call Armies, Immortal Essence followers, and that's it for today's followers. Uh, just quickly to say, uh, thank you very much for everyone who subscribed and left uh, positive comments lately. Uh, I am getting a lot of spam, as do like most uh, YouTubers, from the people who, who are after doing custom music and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, not much I can do about that, but I, I do have the app now to let me screen messages before they're actually put up. Anybody who's leaving genuine comments, uh, your comments will be put up straight away. Anybody who's just trying to get me to subscribe to their channel or doing a sub to sub, I don't do that. I'd sooner not have any followers whatsoever and just do the videos for uh, people who want to actually see them. I'm not going to subscribe to your channel just because you subscribe to mine. You either like my content or you don't. You want to watch my content or you don't. Don't ask me to subscribe to your channel just so you'll subscribe to mine because I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber. I want you to like my content because you like it. I want you to follow me because you, you want to follow me. So there you go. Uh, don't forget, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to. And uh, if, you, if you don't want to miss out on any future content, uh, hopefully there should be another video next week. And uh, I'm going to still try to complete that one for the Skyrim ones. And I've got all the GTA videos uploading at the moment as well. So feel free to check them out. So click the notifications uh, to never miss anything. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.